such genius. And now? Now, my dear, the real fun begins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enlarge the image. As you wish, Skeletor. No, Critter! It's not whatever Skeletor wishes! It's whatever I wish! I am in command here! Me, me! Critter, I could just... Sweep you into my arms and admire your mutant charms. All right, that's enough. You did a good job. And just whose idea was it to plant a homing device on Sibrian's toga and let them escape? Yes, yes, it was your idea, Skeletor. The hypno waves are quite effective, even at long range. Now, to bring the little darlings aboard. Skeletor, you're so evil. That's what I like about you. What a coincidence. That's what I like about me, too. <laughs> Enough of your stupid game, Skeletor! Firepower! That's what'll get He-Man's attention! Flock, how did you ever survive before I came along? Hmm? Don't you see? Chrissy and Kaz are the perfect bait for a big softy like He-Man. He'd do anything to rescue them. I suppose he would. Now go launch a sneak attack on Primus, while Crit and I do our dirty work. Sneak attack? Now you're talking. Doomed! I just love the sound of that word. Critter, you adorably evil thing. Your intergalactic audio ear makes a superb addition to my arsenal of spy weapons. Oh, Skeletor, just hearing you say that makes my blood bubble. Never mind the gooey chit-chat. We're going to freeze. Flaw, buddy, you know just as well as I do that we can use Denebria's transiumor for fuel. Yeah! What does that mean? While we stay warm and cozy, Primus will soon turn to... Ice! But what about our supply of transium ore? Won't the Primans want it? Most definitely. And to get it, they will have to surrender to me. Uh, I mean, to us. Just think, Flog. You'll be the king, the supreme monarch! The Big Cheese. The Big Cheese. That's me, all right. So, He-Man is in his starship trying to play hero, is he? Critter, I think you should take a squadron of mutant fighters and go welcome He-Man. Oh, Skeletor, what a brilliant idea! Hold on! I'm the leader here! I give the orders! Take a squadron of mutant fighters and go welcome He-Man. What a stupid idea. What can I say? Some people got it, some people don't. Can't live with them, and you can't live with them. <laughs> Farewell, Starship Eternia. Blast! It disappeared into the vortex. Never mind, my dear. They'll never come out alive. He Man's fate is sealed. <laughs> so they finally figured out that we can hear them. <gasps> That's bad. Bad. Don't be ridiculous. What can they do about it? Stop! Stop! I can't stand it! I hate this job. Huh? Uh, what are you doing? Get out of my face! Oh, oh, oh no! What happened? 
You're the meanest street fighter in all of Gorn City. Remember? F -f -f fight oh, Not me! I'm terrified of fighting! Come on, you wimp! Put him up! No! Help! Ah, Skeletor, that's wonderful! Your fear gas makes anyone turn into a total coward! Not anyone, Critter. It has no effect on mutants. Or women. Skeletor, this is marvelous! That means I can single-handedly defeat the men of Primus. What a great idea! Yes, you shall lead the attack on Primus and finally defeat one man. Or should I say, one He-Man. <laughs> Skeletor calling Critter! Skeletor calling Critter! Give me an update. I've done it. All of Primus is now saturated with fear gas. The entire planet is in panic. Outstanding. But make one more pass, just to be certain. Those Primans are using their cloaking device again. Critter, run computer projections and fire at their predicted vectors. Blasted cowards! Afraid to stay and fight? The hero of the Quagmi Swamp is a forgiving soul! So masterful? So in control? You let me sit in the pilot's seat? Hey, I call him as I see him. I think it's time to change his swamp water. This boy is getting brain drained. No. They'll never make it through those security doors! What's that? That, my dear Critter, is trouble. Critter, how nice of you to call. A wonderful opportunity has presented itself. Opportunity? You're starting to sound like Skeletor. It seems the Mites are sending a gift to Primus, a robot of incredible strength called Cog. What is this, Cog? Cog is the Mite super robot. He is the keeper of goodwill. Why haven't we seen him before? He is a universal guardian. Cog has been on missions in other galaxies. I was able to convince Niffle that we should allow Cog to visit Primus. Great! You guys are geniuses! Now we will have He-Man and Cog to defend Primus! Excuse my short-sighted friend. What are you planning? We will sneak into Sorton and reprogram Cog. Upon your attack on Primus, Cog's system will go into a destruct mode, destroying everything in sight, including He-Man. I'm beginning to like this Cog creature already. I'm not complaining, Critter, but it doesn't seem fair. I mean, you had your own planet now. You had new people to conquer and enslave. It should have been me. Now, Skeletor, it was your idea to send me here. Don't remind me. What is this? Where's the old Skeletor I knew? Put that evil grin back on your face. Get out there and conquer a planet. Maybe you're right. I am right. Just don't forget the first lesson you taught me. That's where I've gone wrong. I forgot the first rule of being evil. Let others do your dirty work. His name is Walk. He is primitive and superstitious, believing in forest spirits. But it is said his ways of fighting is among the greatest in the Tri-Solar Galaxy. Your spies have done well, Critter. No doubt the Primus Wimps mean to learn his battle style and use it against us in the games. They shall never get to meet him. I will have the Gleanons destroy Walk before the Galactic Guardians arrive. Perhaps this work can serve us better by remaining alive. This is too dangerous. He may teach the Guardians how to defeat us. Or he may teach them a lesson from which there is no return. It is time we pay the Gleanons a visit. I'm not sure I want to deal with you mutants anymore. Critter's plan for us to capture the Mites' capital was a failure. Only because your men allowed Mara to escape from the Norsa mines. Now, now, is this any way for evil people to behave? We're all on the same bad side, aren't we? Well, maybe it wasn't all Critter's fault. 
See how we can all get along when we try? Now, let me take care of the Galactic Guardians and President Pell. Then your forces can attack the Mites. Well, what do you need this time? Hardly anything at all, General Niffle. Just the directions to Wolk's home. Sergeant Crumb will provide you with a map. What else? Oh, the best place on your planet to ambush the Galactic Guardians. The Maze of Loom. It's in the middle of nowhere. If you could get them to go there alone... Do not forget your bargain with me, General Niffle. If I destroy President Pell, you make me queen of the Gleanons. Yes, yes, I remember. And exactly what is your plan? First, I will make this Wolk believe I am his friend. Then he will lure the Galactic Guardians to their doom. Excellent, Critter. Now, to blow the mountain to pieces and bury them in the rubble! Oh! <laughs> Under attack! No! It's He-Man! They're out of the cave! Just what I wanted to hear. Must we monitor Mara's transmission? It's time to call it a day. But first, I deal with General Niffle. I mean to stay Queen of the Gleanons. in the maze for all time! It's you who's ruined me, Skeletor! Now you must pay! <laughs> You've made your decision, Critter! Perish along with Skeletor! We're just gonna let the mutants go, are we? Our battle is no longer with them, Flipshot. They have surrendered. That's right, big boy. Just you and me. This place looks familiar. It's the ruins near the oasis. Welcome to your final resting place, She-Man! I'll handle you myself! Skeletor. Yeah. Oh. Once I'm rid of you, Mara, your planet will be mine. I swear, I will be back!
Oh! 